Close your eyes and watch your breath. Pay attention all the way in, all the way out. And keep at this. The results of the meditation come from the doing. You may read about meditation, but actually doing it is something else entirely. And the wisdom is, comes from doing, both in the original realization that here you are as a human being, you've got this ability to speak, to act, to think. And the things that you speak and act, the body you've got, the mind you've got right now, a lot of those are going to be, have to be left behind at some point. But the results of those actions are going to be with you for a long time. So you want to make sure that you do things well. This is the beginning of wisdom. And then as you do them, you learn things about the mind that you didn't know before. This is how the practice of concentration, the practice of virtue and generosity give rise to wisdom. You can read about generosity, you can read about virtue, but it's very different from being generous and actually acting in a virtuous, virtuous way. So this is true for all aspects of the practice. The wisdom comes from realizing these are things you've got to do. But then starting with that element of wisdom, then as you do the things, you learn about generosity. You run into some of your areas of stinginess that you might not have realized before. Or when you practice the precepts, you begin to run into areas of the mind that are okay with a little bit of lying or a little bit of carelessness. And especially when you meditate, you run into parts of the mind that don't want to meditate at all. And you've got to learn how to outwit these parts of the mind. Show them that it's actually in, in the best interest of the whole mind to develop these practices. And so in learning how to outwit these things, you develop your insight, you develop your discernment. As the Buddha said, it's a sign of discernment is when things there are things you know give good results but you don't like to do them, you know how to talk yourself into doing them. As for things that you would like to do but give bad results, you know how to talk yourself out of them. That's a sign of discernment. It's not a sign of wisdom. It doesn't come from reading a lot of books or being able to memorize a lot of teachings. It comes from actually doing things and learning from what you've done. This is a skill we're trying to master here. So the goodness lies in, in being heedful, realizing that you don't have much time left on earth, but you do have these actions you, you can do right now. You've got this body, you've got this mind, you can use them to accomplish good things. It's a shame that in our society we don't talk about goodness very much. Years back I got on Amazon and I typed in the word goodness to see what would come up. And it was all books about cakes and cookies and pies. For most people that's what goodness means, a good taste. But goodness is actually a quality of the mind that comes from doing things that are harmless and doing things that are actually helpful for yourself and for other people. And there's a wisdom in learning how to develop this goodness. And that's where true wisdom lies. So as you stick with this, the same may seem discouraging at first, but remember you're learning about the mind. You're becoming more acquainted with the ins and outs of the mind. And this is all to the good. <laughs>